Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well, and thank you for watching this clip on solving exponential equations. Solving this type of exponential equations is very important. We gather the variables, much like if we have, say, x, 2x equal to 8 minus 3x. We're going to gather the 3x together, 5x equal to 8. We're going to do the same thing here. Now, the only problem is, The x is on an exponential term. However, here's one thing we can do. 2x minus 1 can be rewritten as a division. Okay, This is no surprising because if it have x squared divided by x, that, as you know, it's equal to x. Another way to do it also is x2 minus 1 because the exponents, when they're dividing here, same base, but dividing is equal to subtraction on the exponents, which is equal to x to the 1. It's exactly the same answer as you would get otherwise. Okay, so over here, I rewrote 2 to the x minus 1 into 2 to the x divided by 2 to the 1. The reason I want to do that, hopefully you can see it, is because I want to pull the variable term out. Okay, so the first term is half is left, minus 1, because if I multiply them together, I have 2 to the x divided by 2 minus 2 to the x. Okay, I got my stuff back. Then I have 2 to the x times minus half equal to minus 8. And from there, it should be pretty easy to solve. 2 to the x is equal to positive 16, or x equal to, uh, x equal to 4. Now let's check our work over here. It's always good to check your work. 2 to the 4 minus 1, the question mark is it equal to 2 to the 4 minus 8? Well, this is 16 minus 8. This is 2 to the cube. And then indeed we have 8 is equal to 8. So check. All right. I hope this one is clear. It's a relatively uh, simple problem once you get get the idea of it, and uh, math break. Exponential doesn't have to be this painful. All right, back to math. So like I said, you still do the same thing. You gather all the variables together, and so you can apply the similar pre-algebra stuff you learned before. Okay, hope this one is clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun, at least trying to. Please comment or thumb up if it's been helpful. Until next time, have a confident day.